The following trailer is rated S for spoilers. From the developers who hate pirates so much, they've thrown them all into Davy Jones' locker, comes a game that freaking loves pirates, which you literally couldn't play right now without piracy. Unless you can get a hold of a Wii U, but come on, no one wants to game that badly. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Meet Link. Nope, not that one. Not him either. Nuh uh. Keep him coming. Nope. No. Nine. Come on, really? There he is. He's a kid in a dollar store hero of time costume who just wants to blaze it by the beach all day, but unfortunately keeps getting flung into adventures. <laughs> where he'll journey to save the same princess from the same bad guy with the same sword, the same bow, and the same M16. <laughs> Just kidding, it's a boomerang again. But this time, he's bringing something new to the party, a personality. And a stick so magical, it'd make Harry Potter slithering with envy. Except this game is all surf and no turf, with enough sailing to fill a season of below deck. Now where the heck is that stupid map fish? How many needs to see that scaly little freak draw? <laughs> Say ahoy to brand new allies, like Tetra, a rough and tumble pirate with a Jimmy Neutron hairdo, who's just mean enough to make me wonder if she's single, aka one of the coolest characters Nintendo's ever made. That is, until she gets all that personality power washed off via a classic princess makeover. And give you... A princess. Which of course means she sits out until the final battle, her usual. She's joined by a ragtag crew of pirates, who all look like rugrats that have been left too long in the microwave, and whose personalities range from idiotically incompetent to incompetently idiotic. But hey, I still pick them over literally any Sea of Thieves player. Also, sometimes a gay frog shows up. No, I meant the other one. Sail through the beautiful, perfectly blue Great Sea, a relaxing experience that totally isn't tedious or frustrating at all, until you realize you've been going the wrong way for 20 minutes, and now have to battle pirates, monsters, a magic storm frog, and your own piss-poor sense of direction. Uh, okay, I see the problem. I mistook this bit of featureless empty ocean right here for this other bit of featureless empty ocean. That's where I went wrong. Should have made a left turn. I mean, what is even the point of a sentient talking boat if he doesn't pipe up when I'm veering off course? This is why I don't trust GPS. Slash, shoot, and dodge roll your way through one of the easiest combat systems in the entire series. With a parry so impossible to screw up, you might as well let your little brother play for once, and which might make fighting feel pretty boring. Also, the dungeons might as well not even be there. Another forced escort quest? Bring back the talking fish, please! Things finally ramp up a little once you unlock the power within to finally become the hero of wins? Wait, come on, is this game just one big fart joke? <laughs> come on, Nintendo. I thought you were more mature than this. So pull up your tights, get a good grip on that pipe, and grab a pearl necklace by the balls in a solid entry to the Legend of Zelda series, which made some fans mad thanks to the cartoony style, but they can go cry about it while the rest of us have a good time. Oh, looks like they already did. Starring Gay Zelda, Karen Tetra, Ganonball, Hot Chicken, Bodie McBoatface, Grandma and her jar of piss, Seeky Blinders, Desperate Fishwives, Sister, Sister, Saturday Night Fever Dream, Hi ho, Kermit Seafrog here, Nintendo Style Ronnie, The Giving Me a Headache Tree, Fifty Shades of Tingle, F this guy, and Zelda. The Legend of Zelda, The Windbreaker. Okay, Nintendo clearly knew how annoying Makar and the Koroks were. That's why they let us do this. Ah, retribution.
Hey, Honest Trailer fans, ready for something smart after all that dumb nonsense? Listen to the six-part history podcast all about the time Superman fought the KKK. Check out the Spotify link in the description below or find it wherever you get your pods. I just wanted my cheese. You're a colorful bunch. My hair coupons. It is unfortunate, Commander, that your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. Well, Seymour, you are an odd fellow, but I must say, you steam a good ham.